Travels with Phil continues at the Ford Ancient Museum. I'm going to take you on a very, very quick trip through this <laughs> pretty good size uh, museum, about uh, 9,000 square feet, they said. So, Ice Age animals, mastodons here in Ohio. Saw some over, looks like that, uh, not too far from the Williamson uh, Mound. There you go. Spear refinements. Video on flint napping. Some of the natural rocks. How about some of the cultural stuff that they believe happened? Then the woodland Indians came in, agriculture starts. Grassfoot, squash, maygrass, nutweed, barley, sunflowers, elder, tobacco, corn. Old pots, pottery. There you go. Some nice designs. The difference between the uh, Hope Wells were much before the uh, Adenas. Historic art. So what they're thinking is this may have had something to do with astronomy. A couple of spots, the stone that uh, right here, shooting off in those directions, is what this is talking about. Different times of the year when uh, alignments are there. Some more artifacts. Pictures of what it might have looked like. Many, many more artifacts. Good size turkey. That's a good size bowl. And then the Europeans started arriving in the 1700s. Now they didn't think the American Indians here were smart enough to have built these, or at least our ancestors, of course. So they just figured that the American Indians drifted in and killed off all the uh, original Hopewell folks. Nowadays, I don't think that's quite so true. Wampum could be used to tell a story. The death of Tecumseh. Tippy Canoe. That was in Canada. Didn't make it up there. So lots and lots. Now this is where I'll be going soon. Snake Mound. It's a little bit uh, southeast of here. That's it.